Hi, my name is Cesare. Um, today I want to speak about Messenger. Um, I think for the most of you this topic is uh, quite new, so we really start from the simple, simple beginning. Um, I think a lot of people still treat Messenger as a simple app to chat with friends and family. And I have my personal impression that maybe we didn't notice that landscape has to change with technology with uh, chat apps. And I think the best question for the beginning will be why Messenger is one of the most important Facebook products. Well, the answer we can find in China. WeChat is Chinese app which is very similar to Messenger, but now it's not only the app to communication with other people, it's something more. For Chinese people, WeChat is a app that supports their every need. For example, WeChat lets Chinese people to communicate a text message with friends, call video with family, with WeChat, you can also find a date, you can order a taxi, or buy clothes or food. And it's only the little part of things you can do with WeChat. And Messenger really wants to be the WeChat for the West, West and United States. And I think the best way to understand why they want to copy this business model will be to look on amazing WeChat statistics. How many people use WeChat now? It's over a billion, million, billion uh, people, users in China. WeChat daily active users is about 90% from all users. Percentage of users that use the WeChat Pay. WeChat Pay is function that allow users to pay for some goods inside the WeChat. 90, over 90% use this service. Number of stores that accept WeChat Pay, 300,000 300, stores. Next, percentage of users shopping via WeChat, 85% from all users, 85% from billion users of WeChat. Amount of money spent monthly per user is $100. Number of attached credit cards is 300 millions and amount of consumption drove in 2017 is nearly 50 billion dollars. All this money go through this WeChat and Messenger won't be the same app for our markets. And I think you can find it very interesting. I created on my own the simple timeline which shows how WeChat evolved during these years. You can find some characteristical points like the first 100 million users, WeChat bread accounts, which are something like our business fan page on Facebook, Facebooks, payments, games, taxi booking, payments peer-to-peer, -peer, bots, and please look at this timeline and now I will show you the timeline for Messenger. Okay, you can find uh, little differences between first and second timelines, but I think you can see some familiar thing in these two pictures. And now I want to show you four elements. I won't be surprised if you heard about these elements but I'm not sure that you think about these four elements as a one picture in Messenger. And I really care to show each of these elements to you because at the end I will show you the one picture and I hope this allow you to... This Sorry, I need to find the words. Um, I convinced you to the fact that you really have to start thinking about business activity on Messenger. The first element is Messenger bot. Um, I think the mes Messenger bots are the most popular from these four elements now in Messenger platform. Um, 
And the simple definition, bot is a piece of software that communicates with humans through a messenger app. Bots are effective instruments for digital marketing, lead generation, customer support. But the most important thing, thing I think you have to remember now is that bots means the same as a mobile app, but inside messenger. Why it's this is quite important because a lot of people have some uh, bad quotation about bots. They think that bots are mad robots with artificial intelligence that we cannot control and they will probably kill us all. No, bots are simply uh, are simple mobile apps, but with this difference that you don't have to install bot on your mobile phone. You don't have to teach the users of the how to use interface because because everyone knows how to use messenger interface and you can use the power of uh, organic uh, ads manager uh, which uh, contain a lot of data from the past of about the users and I want to show you only a few elements that you can meet inside the bot because I want to show you that the conversation is the smallest, the smaller, the smallest part of bots because in the, inside the bot you can find a lot of clicking, scrolling, um, a lot of interaction that you can meet in classic mobile apps. Well, the first probably really important element because when you see this button, when you start the conversation with the business fan page, it means that fan page has connected the bot. This is the welcome spring button. It's only shown the first time the users interact with the page on Messenger. Clicking on this button allows to send direct messages to every user who may interact with us. So it's important because now you can treat Messenger as an email. A few years ago, we built newsletters on email boxes. Now you can build newsletter on Messenger and distribute to the people by the bot. Next, quick replies. Present a set, a set, a set of up to 11 buttons in conversation contain a predefined text message, for example, answers. When a quick reply is taped, the buttons are dismissed and the title of the taped button is posted to the conversation as a message. It's important because when you think about how you write a message, uh, when you write one message, it sometimes needs uh, from 10 to 40 clicks to write one message. When you have button like this, you can close whole process in Messenger in 10, 40 clicks because people don't have to write, they can choose some uh, predefined answers that then can communicate with bots. Generic template. Generic template is a simple structure, the message that includes a title, subtitle, image, and up to three buttons. Messenger platform supports the sending of a horizontally scrollable carousel of the generic templates. I think it's a good example for uh, commerce that uh, present the example carousel for shoe shop. And it's really simple. You can scroll, scroll left or scroll to the right some models of the shoes, and you can buy it you can see more like this and ask a question to the bot about product. It's really simple because you can put your all store that you have on the website, for example, to the bot. It's, uh, and that's all. You don't have to teach users how to find this. And the web view. The Messenger platform allows you to open a standard web view where you can load web, web pages inside Messenger. This lets you offer experience and features that might be difficult to offer with the messages, bubbles such as picking products to buy, seats to book, or dates to reserve. Well, um, web view is created in HTML5, so you really, you really can do everything. We find a quite interesting experience because we program uh, games inside WebView and it's really good product for engaging some brand with users but you can put here everything because it's simple uh, WebView so every web page can be displayed in this um, in this area. Okay, the second the second element, probably the most uh, exciting, AR camera effect. Uh, 
Argumented reality overlays computer-generated images on the real world. Smartphone you already own with a screen camera and compact design is an ideal device for argumented reality. Well, argumented reality is not a new invention, but a lot of people don't understand why Messenger is pretty interested in this technology. Um, the, mo the most important of one of the most important announcement of uh, Facebook F8 in this year was, was that Messenger wants to break our technology with their chat app. Why? Um, how it works? Our camera effects can be added to a bot to create interactive experience that enhances your messenger presence. Unlock feature by using generic templates and quick replies that can open the camera. When people tap on it, the camera will open with our effects specific to your brand on our bot. Depending on the experience, people can take a photo or a record a video that incorporates the camera effects into the photo video. From there, they can save the photo video, share it with a group one-to-one -one conversation or add it to their stories. Well, uh, maybe it's quite technological description, so I uh, prepare example that where it's online now. It's messenger bot with argumented reality camera effect for Sephora. How it works? On Sephora fan page, uh, you can find a bot who, which have very simple task. Sephora bot uh, have to present the offer of lipsticks. We have a little conversation about products. With generic template, you can scroll from the left to the right uh, the different types of lipsticks. And when you choose the lipstick that you are most interested in, then Messenger launch the AR camera effect and put a makeup with this lipstick on your face. And by a simple click, you can change makeup on your face and it's looks really, really real. So after the presentation, check, the, check it on yourself. When bots have, inf has, have information what kind of makeup we choose in camera. So when we close the camera, bot send you an offer about this concrete lipstick and allow you to fast buy with a simple button. And after it, you, all, all you have to do is to click and accept and approve the transaction, and that's all. And why Messenger bot plus argument neutrality is key point for e-commerce. It helps people get a better sense of the product. There are many situations where we need to visualize IC product before we feel comfortable buying it. This feature helps make purchasing in the virtual world and real world feel so much closer to each other. It enhances the shopping experience by tapping into the social nature of Messenger. We often seek input from our friends and family before making a purchase. Sharing the argumented reality effects in other Messenger conversations helps people get valuable instant feedback about purchases, customizations, and more, whatever they choose to share it to their story or in a one-to-one -one or a group conversation. So now you see why Facebook really take care about to connect messenger technology with argumented camera effect, but it's not the end, it's not the end. Because this is the technology that's wait for user who know that, for example, Sephora sell lipsticks in their fan page. We need technology that allow us uh, target the people who can, who can, who want buy our services or products. So we have Messenger ads. Messenger ads uh, were, ra were run by Facebook in October 2017, but I'm, I was really surprised because business uh, didn't notice this technology. Um, a little definition. These are ads that appear directly within a user's messenger home screen between messages. You can also choose destinations for your CTA. This could be a link to your website app or even to a bot. 
Okay, now it looks very simple. Uh, I won't be surprised if you probably saw this kind of advertisement in your private messenger, but messenger, uh, ads on messenger works differently from the other classic formats from Facebook and Instagram and other platforms that uh, um, Facebook conquer. The first really, really important uh, role Ad displayed on Messenger is not the same as ad created for Messenger. Why it's important? Because when you created a classic ad for Facebook, you can choose the destination of a platform that Facebook will display the ad. So you can choose Facebook, you can choose Instagram as a feed that ad should be displayed. And you can also choose the messenger, but ad created for messenger is not the same at this at ad displayed on messenger. Why? Classic ads are based on value proposition. What does it mean? This is really, I think, the most classical ads that can exist on Facebook. It's Domino's Australia ad of pizza. Online mega week, get 50% of pizzas, use code XXX. And why it's not working on Messenger? Because Messenger algorithms take these two objects, texts, and compare to users' conversations. Messenger ads are targeted to the users based on, the, based on their conversations. So I will try to explain as simple as I can. Messenger take this text and compare to my conversation with my friend. And I think it's really important to understand that people don't talk each other with language, with value of preposition. When I am hungry, I not write to my friends, hi, Jim, I really want to eat pizza with 50% off. No, I sent a message to my friend which sounds, hi, Jack, I'm really hungry. Maybe we should order pizza. So when you create it, uh, ads for messenger, you have to create it copy which suit to the people conversation. So the good messenger ad should be sounds like, hey, are you hungry? Maybe you should order the pizza. Then uh, ads manager from Facebook displayed this ad on messenger to the people who use this phrase in their private conversations. And the last one, but not available, messenger payments. Um, a new published Facebook patent all users to pay for goods through messaging bots on its app. Process payments without redirecting the user to another window or out of the chat, providing a simple one-step interface. Combined with Facebook's broader marketplace and checkout options, users might no longer have to rely on multiple platforms to purchase from different sellers. Well, I cannot present you any example because this technology is not available, it's only in testing, but with this last piece of all elements, we can see something bigger. Well, you can connect the dots looking forward, said someone famous in startup industry, but I think it's not the true. Look at this sample process. With these all elements I presented earlier. One, user see and click on messenger ads. Second, messenger ad directs users to the bot with lipsticks. Three, user try a lipstick with air camera effect. Four, the bot closes purchase in same conversation with messenger payments. Did you see it now? Facebook wants to transform Messenger from a standalone social network to a robust marketplace and mobile payment service. So it will be the market where you can try your products, buy your products, share these products. It will be it will be great sales tool and tool for e-commerce that Messenger try to be. Um, if you want more, you can open Messenger, open camera, hold your finger on the screen and scan, scan this code on the right. You will see how Messenger can, uh, can work and you can contact with me by private channel. Okay, thank you very much.